morning and welcome to the fine print i'm aisha sindhu the big story coming out at 8 pm ist is from india itself a massive sandstorm has hit bikaner's kajuwala in the state of rajasthan in fact the met department had predicted heavy rainfall accompanied by gusty winds those visuals on your screen telling the story in itself a massive dust cloud there appearing in bikaner in rajasthan also a uh, gusty winds expected in the delhi national capital region and adjoining states of punjab haryana western uttar pradesh himachal pradesh uttarakhand and jammu and kashmir now the weather department has advised people to stay calm and not to believe fake videos that are being circulated on social media about the extent of the damage caused by thun the thunderstorm remember at least 124 people were killed and more than 300 were injured in five states due to dust storms just last week the delhi government meanwhile has put search and rescue teams on standby while schools in haryana remain closed tomorrow as well additionally a few schools in parts of uttar pradesh have also been closed for tomorrow on the phone with me right now is mahesh palavat he is the vice president of skymet Uh, Mr. Palava, thank you for speaking with us here at Beyond. Uh, give us an idea of how concerning uh, these dust storms are for residents in the national capital region. Uh, actually, uh, during pre-monsoon season, uh, dust storm and thunder shower activities are very common. Uh, particularly in the month of April and May, when temperature starts rising, and whenever humidity increases, it gives rise to vertically developed cloud, that is thunder cloud. Known as cumulonimbus. So now, at present, uh, thunder clouds have already developed over parts of North Rajasthan, and gradually they are moving towards east, towards Delhi and NCR. And while late night, uh, we expect that thunder activity and dust storm activities to commence over Delhi and NCR, and it on and off activities are expected to continue uh, tomorrow as well. and uh, intensity will not be as severe as uh, we have seen on may 2nd but still a precaution must be taken and uh, wind speed may reach 40 to 60 km per hour and in isolated pockets it may gust to 70 to 80 km right uh, you said that it's uh, not uncommon for these kind of squalls to take place before uh, the monsoon hits but the severity of what happened on the 2nd of may the visuals we're seeing from bikaner right now this massive dust cloud making its way across the city uh, do you do you feel that deforestation and climate change also play a part in all of this yeah uh, definitely because uh, deforestation and uh, climate change ecological disorder and uh, we are seeing that uh, day by day green cover of earth is depleting so all these activities human activities are taking toll toll of weather that's why uh, intense weather activities are on rise and uh, we are witnessing more and more severe heat wave conditions uh, heavy snowfall activities also uh, extreme temperatures also so in near future or uh, we think that uh, this type of extreme weather activity will increase uh, day by day right and i suppose these advisories are all right for uh, the present situation but if it has to be tackled on a, a larger level on a more uh, let's say a systemic level do you think that uh, the governments of this country are really going to have to pull up their uh, socks and roll up their sleeves and get uh, a more uh, uh, let's say a comprehensive program in place to make sure that this doesn't become part of the usual yeah it definitely it should be there but uh, government should not be very proactive that uh, we have seen that uh, schools were closed for two day also in many parts of uh, haryana or almost all over haryana uh, but what uh, we in this time might we have predicted that weather activities will commence around uh, late evening or afternoon hours of 7 and uh, we uh, need, need not to panic that CVRT will not be very high, uh, but still, uh, as uh, all the weather warning and uh, this uh, in place, that's why we expect that uh, temperature, uh, wind speed will be very high, around uh, 40 to 50 kilometers somewhere. It may be 70 to 80 kilometers, but so precaution uh, should be taken. And uh, the uh, whenever any weather warning or dust storm warning 
or severe uh, thunder shower warning is there in place right. then uh, government should take precautionary measure beforehand all right mahesh palavar thank you for taking out the time to speak with us here at weon um the visuals there on your screen coming from bikaner in rajasthan from today itself now keeping these extreme weather phenomenon in mind india's national disaster management agency or ndma has issued a list of do's and don'ts let's take a look at uh, some of those now people have been advised to keep a close watch on local channels and radio stations to get regular weather updates all electri- electrical equipment pardon me should be unplugged also asked uh, people to stay clear of plumbing and metal pipes and not to use running water during the thunderstorm in case of strong winds stay away from structures that have tin and metal roofs don't take shelter under trees or near them in fact when it comes to extreme weather conditions people have also been asked to stay away from power and telephone lines and to keep an emergency kit with all essential items handy at all times